Clarehouse Children's Hospice on the Wirral. Um, many of you will already have heard about the Clarehouse Challenge Badge. Um, this was launched last summer and since then we can say it's just been an absolute huge success. Um, since I'd say September onwards, myself and our mascot Claire Bear have been best friends and have been travelling around <laughs> and visiting absolutely all of the units who have done the badge and all of the feedback that we've had from the girls has just been remarkable. Um, the badge basically really links back to the hospice. It started off from a girl called Holly. Um, Seven Crosby guides actually just welcomed Holly in um, with so much love and support. And Holly actually has really complex needs. She's in a wheelchair. Her communication skills aren't that great. And she does have really complex needs. But that really didn't stop 7th Crosby and since then they have got her on zip wires, they've had her in a kayak, we've had our hearts in our mouths hearing about some of the things that have been going on within the unit but they've just been so so lovely and um, we just can't thank them enough. So we're all about getting that awareness out there about disabilities and about terminal illnesses. Um, the badge really replicates everything that goes on in the hospice. So we've got different sections, one of them including um, a friends and family section, a sensory section and it's really lovely because when I've been out visiting the units they've been there with their pictures of their family trees which they've used as their thumbprints themselves and when children do come to the hospice, whether they've already passed away or they are going to pass away, we'll take the little thumbprints or toe prints and we'll put these on canvases for all of the family and it's so lovely because you walk into a family's house who no longer has their child and it's pride of place above their fireplace, um, this canvas of the mums and dads' hands, the brothers and sisters and that little baby's or child's from prints as well. And that really is what the hospice is all about, is about making the memories and whether a little child comes to us or a younger person at the age of 23, they come to us whether it's their last hours the last days, the last years or 10 years, no matter what time they come and spend at Clare House, it is all about having fun, having giggles, throwing pies at the staff's face, which I can say has happened quite a lot recently. <laughs> and it is just about having so much fun. So with this badge, it's just been absolutely amazing. Um, I'm smiling so much now because I'm just thinking about all the times that I've been to each unit. And I've got, I think, four coming up in the next week that I'm going to with Claire there and the brownies, the rainbows, the senior sections just absolutely love it and hearing about the fashion shows that they've done, the cake sales has been amazing. We had a meeting um, last week or the week before and we tossed up that we've sold over 3,000 badges and another 1,500 badges were going out this week um, and I'm so <coughs> pleased to tell you that we have raised and thank you to all of you guys. We've raised over £6,000 for the children and families at Clare House. So a um, huge well done to you all. Um, it really is making the difference to all of our families and children. We currently look after over 200 children and 400 families, whether this be bereaved or using the access of the hospice. And we simply couldn't do it without your, you guys. So whether you've done the badge or whether you're about to do the badge or pass on the word to your unit, please just tell them how fun it is and how I'd love to come and see them and send certificates along and a huge thank you. But yeah, thank you to everyone.